grid scale battery energy storage capacity in Great Britain currently stands at around 2.4 gigawatts. And there are over 100 assets of 7 megawatts or more scattered all around the country. But how much does a battery's location affect its likelihood of being dispatched in the balancing mechanism? When grouping assets by grid supply point group, some interesting patterns start to emerge. For example, since October 2022, batteries in the eastern region receive around twice as many dispatches as the national average. This is because they are located near to wind farms and around transmission lines flowing north to south feeding London. Elsewhere, batteries in the south of Scotland receive 70% more dispatches than the average. This is because they are located between the B4 and B6 boundaries and are called upon to manage constraints at these boundaries. Scotland is also home to a lot of wind farms and these batteries can help to stabilise the grid at times of high wind generation. On the other hand, batteries south of the B6 boundary in the northern grid supply point group receive 65% fewer balancing mechanism dispatches than the national average. This is because there are no major constraints nearby, not much wind generation and a number of other generators that can be called upon in the region. So, does this have an impact on where owners and developers are choosing to locate new batteries? Well, unsurprisingly, the two regions which currently have the highest dispatch rates, uh, south of Scotland and eastern, are also the two regions where the most battery energy storage is expected to come online in the next three years, in terms of both number of sites and overall volume. To dive into more details, just head to our latest deep dive on phase. I'll see you soon.